Hey guys, I'm out here uh, today. I want to show you the new boat that I got. You remember from my uh, giveaway video, I was speaking with you about um, the new solo canoe that I got. It's the 11 foot 6 incher and um, it's in pretty good shape. You know, I took it out for a little test run there and it doesn't leak or anything like that. Um, there are several scratches on the bottom and a few little dings that have got into the fiberglass. So I thought I'd show you how I'm gonna restore it. Um, basically, I'm just gonna sand off the old, uh, sand down the paint job from before and uh, cover it over again and uh, should be good as new. I've also got some um, filler there just in case there are some deep dings that I run into when I start taking some of the paint off. So let's take a look at the canoe. So here it is in all its glory. It's a pretty nice little canoe, lightweight, I don't know, it's probably about 40 to 45 pounds. Um, as you can see, you know, it's been uh, well loved in its previous life. So, um, you know, it's got a bunch of scratches through the paint job here. There's a bit of a scuff right down here into the fiberglass. There's no holes. Um, one thing I did find is there's some areas where there's a little bit of silicone applied and I'm not really sure what's going on there. So I'm gonna take a look by sanding it down. Just trying to see if I can find, oh yeah, here's one of the spots. Yeah, see right here, like what is this all about? I have no idea. I don't know whether someone was doing some work and it just kind of got dripped on the canoe or whether there's actually, oh yeah, there's a crack there. Okay, that's gonna get fixed. Yeah, so I'm gonna sand this off and then what I'll do is I'll probably put a little bit of a repair on there, a little filler, and we'll sand it again and then I'm gonna paint it. So let's flip it over. So yeah, pretty nice, eh? I've already got some new hardware up front here and a couple little eye hooks and some washers. The other ones were rusted right through and basically snapped off when I went to change them. The seats have got strapping and wood. I mean, the wood's getting a little tired. I mean, I'll probably either make some new seats. Hey, why not? You can also buy them at the Mountain Equipment Co-op or if you're in the US, it's called REI. This is the thwart. I'm not a huge fan of this thwart. You know, in trying to pick it up, um, it does get sore on your back. So maybe make, um, one that actually bows out a little bit so that uh, you can actually rest it on your shoulders without a huge back ache. It's using a foamy over top of it right now just so it doesn't, you know, kill my back. Anyway, so that's uh, that's got to be replaced. And this is the back seat right here. Again, not too bad. It's just a few little areas there that have some trouble. And then again, I've replaced this back here. So this is aluminum, so that's okay. But uh, you know, it definitely needs some some TLC to bring it back into shape. Let me show you the products that I've got to uh, help up with that. So here's some of the things we'll need. So I've got my little orbital sander here. I've got some 220 sandpaper on there. So you can see I've just got a bunch of them just in case I uh, gets all gummed up with that um, silicone. I've also got this uh, white Marine Tex um, product here. And what it's gonna do is just fill any gaps, okay? Then um, I'm gonna tape up sort of the, uh, any areas I don't want painted with this uh, tape right here. It's painter's tape. And then I got this Marine paint. It's called Interlux Brightside Polyurethane and I'm gonna have it here in sea green. Okay, so I've actually got uh, two quarts of this, but I'll start with one and we'll see from there. I'll probably do about two coats. And uh, in between coats, I might use a 320 really fine sandpaper just to kind of rough it up a little bit. I originally was gonna use this Helmsman um, spar urethane, but uh, I don't know, I spoke with the guy at the uh, Chandlery. It's a uh, store in Ottawa that does a lot of, you know, it's a great little boat store. It's like a candy store for people who like boating. And the guy convinced me to use this instead and I don't need to put the spar varnish on top. So, oh well, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure I'll be painting it again next year. Um, and then of course I've got my, you know, paint roller here and a little tray. So the next step then is to just sort of put it up on something. I'm just gonna put it up on uh, this trailer right here just to work on it. Um, I can get at all sides of it. All right guys, so I'm gonna use my orbital sander now and just sand down uh, the original 
um, paint job so we can get started. So I've uh, just finished uh, some of the sanding here. So you can see, just kind of scuffed it up a bit so that the uh, epoxy will stick to the cracks and then eventually my paint job will uh, stick to the old paint job. As you can see here, I found one of those cracks. That was what was underneath the silicone. So I'm just gonna get, um, I'm done sanding the boat. So I'm just gonna kind of clean off some of the dust here with some Windex on the sites I'm going to work at with the putty. Let that dry really quickly. You can use water, rubbing alcohol, just use Windex because it's pretty fast to dry. I'm going to get all that little, all those little bits of paint dust out of there. Nice working surface. All right, so as you can see, I've sort of mixed up the putty there with a, on a flat surface there with a little plastic fork. So now I'm just going to apply a little bit of it here into the crack. There we go. It's just nice and even and smooth. Excellent. So that's one spot done. And move on to the next. They're finished putting on the epoxy the putty. So you can see all the different spots where I found cracks and dings and things like that. So just put it on there. It's going to dry in a few hours. Uh, lots of different spots there. So I'll have some sanding work to do. It's getting late and it's time for supper. So, uh, so stay tuned uh, for tomorrow's adventures. Hey guys, well it's day two and uh, good news is that looks like the uh, epoxy dried really nicely. I did leave it overnight, why not, you know, to make sure it hardened properly. All the spots feel really good. Um, so the step today that I'm going to do um, is I'm going to sand this down nice and flat with the rest of the canoe and then I'm going to tape the gunnels with some painter's tape. And then if I've got time tonight, I'll do my first coating of paint, which is awesome. I think things are coming along really well. Okay, well, let me get my gloves on here and we'll uh, sand this uh, surface here. I get lots of paint and stuff, so I'll just wear these gloves, why not? Just mechanics gloves. All right. That turned out really good. Just gonna sand the edges here and then we should be good. Okay, it's perfect. I don't feel any ridges. It feels uh, very smooth compared to the rest of the canoe. So uh, this site's done. I'm just gonna go on now and do the rest of them. So the next step after I've, uh, I've sanded everything down here, it's nice and flat, is to get the dust off of it prior to painting. So again, you can use a solvent to do that. Um, today I've got some methyl hydrate. Um, that way I can get the dust off and uh, you know it's going to evaporate quite quickly so that I can paint later on. Um, I could use water um, but then I'd have to let it make sure it was really really dry. So this will allow um, me to get off the dust um, and then uh, paint fairly soon. So it's pretty exciting. So you see I'll just kind of wipe it like that, get off that fine paint dust and epoxy dust just to get ready for the paint job. Look at how fast that's drying, it's great. And you can see it kind of goes on the cloth there. No, All right, so just uh, let me do this for a little while and then I'll come back to you when I'm painting. Well, I finished getting the, uh, the dust off of the boat. So it just looks kind of scuffed up now. I'm um, getting ready to paint. So uh, I'm gonna use this tape here, painter's tape basically to cover up the gunnels. I just don't want to paint, oops, I don't want to paint the aluminum gunnels. 
Um, so we'll just kind of uh, tape them nicely here so that we don't end up making a mess. And go all the way around the boat. Just like that. So I'm just going to open up the polyurethane here and put it into my little tray. Mommy bird is kind of angry, you can hear her in the background. The baby birds are getting huge. You guys remember them from my little video there. Well that's a nice color. Very nice. So I've shaken it really well earlier and I'm just going to pour a bit of it. Jiggy's almost, <laughs> almost dumped the whole thing, that's terrible. Okay. Well, let's put this down somewhere where it's not going to make a mess. Wow, that was a little spastic. <laughs> so I'm just going to start by putting a thin layer all around the gunnel area here. And then I've got a roller to do the rest of it, so... I'm not a master painter, but I'm going to try to be as careful as possible with this. It's going to look very good when it's done. It's nice, it's really kind of cooled down. It was in the 30 degree Celsius range for many days. It was really hot and humid. Now it's broken. The weather is about 20 degrees and a little bit of a breeze, so that's nice for working on this project. This is the right green I picked, thank goodness. I wasn't sure in the store. I'm just going to work my way around the canoe, guys, and uh, keep on painting. Time to watch me paint. Okay guys, it didn't take me very long, probably about 15 minutes and I've got this all painted right now. Um, so I used that little roller um, painter that you saw and I, I used the brush obviously around the gunnels and it looks great. So this is after coat one, what it looks like. So I'll just give you a little view here. Isn't that impressive? I love it. Look at, see my reflection. <laughs> um, so you can see where I've done the patch job, so that's okay. I mean, we just need to do another coat of paint and I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and I'll probably, uh, I'll just let it dry overnight. I'm not gonna rush and do the second coat tonight. So that's what she looks like right now. That is awesome. Again, there's where I've done the epoxying. So it's just a little bit, you know, it's pure white, so it's obviously gonna show up after one coat. But you got rid of all those nasty little white scratches that you saw on it earlier. Um, I think it looks really good. All right, so we'll leave the uh, project for tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna start off by sanding uh, with some sandpaper, probably a 330 grit, something that's uh, very fine, um, just between coats. And uh, yeah, it should be almost uh, ready basically by, I think in Thursday to get on the water. So that's pretty exciting. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So it's day three, and as you can see, we've got a really nice finish on the canoe after the first coat of paint. So what I'm gonna do now is just use um, <clears throat> this 320 uh, grit sandpaper. Um, to sand down very lightly um, the coat of paint I just put on so I can put a second uh, coat of paint on. So I've already got started on the other side, um, so I'm just going to keep going. Uh, my goal is not to take off, you know, a lot of paint, just to rough off the surface so that I can uh, have something for the other coat of paint to stick to. I definitely want to do this by hand. I think I would take off way too much paint if I actually used uh, the electric sander. 
So now that we've roughed up the surface, we definitely want to get that sand, you know, that dust off again. So again, I'm going to use the methyl hydrate on a little cloth here to get that off. Just going to wipe it down. Just dries really fast, eh? So I'm in a bit of a rush today. I'm trying to get this done before I head off to work. So we're all ready for the second coat. It's difficult putting this on in the sunshine because it wants to dry really fast. So I'm just going to work quickly. Well, it's done. After three days, I'm really happy with uh, the work that I did. It looks like uh, as good as new. Um, the only thing left is I'm going to get some decals to stick on the, uh, the sides of the canoe that say the wild yam. They're going to be cut out of white vinyl. So they're on order right now. So whenever they get here, I'll uh, put them on the boat and I'll uh, show you guys the finished product, I guess, when I'm out fishing next. Um, but let's do a close up of the boat here, the full restoration. So this is the final product. Beautiful high gloss forest green finish, just the way I wanted it. I haven't taken off the uh, painter's tape yet. I'll let it dry for another 12 hours. It'll be dry to the touch for two to three hours, but I want to make sure it's just perfect before I take off all that tape in case I get a, a wet blob that smears or something. So the decals have arrived. So that's the next step is to place those on the canoe. And what I've done is I've just again prepared the surface with a little bit of methyl hydrate to make sure I've got all the pollen off of uh, the last coat of paint. And uh, I'm going to do some measurements so that, because uh, I have the two decals, um, one will be at the front and one will be at the back. And we want to make sure they're kind of look relatively similar. So I'm just going to take a few little measurements here so I can place that. So I'm just going to use a little bit of graphite pencil to sort of mark off where I want it to end up. All right, so underneath all this is uh, the wild yam on vinyl uh, transfer tape. So I just want to see how this all lines up here. Perfect. And then when I'm happy with its placement, I'm going to put a little piece of tape on there just to hold it in place. All right, so I'm going to peel the backing off the transfer tape. It's kind of a windy day for this. Got my marks here. Wait, it's wind to die down, so not a great day. <laughs> That's what it's going to look like. So now we take like a little credit card and we kind of flatten everything out. A little wrinkle in there, but we can work on that. Right, and then when you're happy with it, uh, you peel off the back of the transfer tape. Get rid of these. Use those for the other side. And one final scrape. All right, and then slowly peel it off. Woohoo! 
That looks awesome. All right, guys, on to the other side. All right, guys, that's it. A canoe that I bought for 300 bucks. Um, now I've restored it, spent, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 70 or 80 bucks just on like, you know, the paint and the brushes and all that kind of stuff. And well, my own labor, of course, um, to bring it back to new condition. I'll probably fix the thwart and the seats at some point, but uh, I'm kind of itching to get out on the water, so that'll have to wait. Um, you know, we'll look forward to seeing more videos from me in this canoe. Like I said, I'm going to be learning um, some solo canoeing techniques, so we'll see how that goes. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Don't forget, if you liked today's video and you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and thumbs up if you'd like more videos like this. All right, guys, have a wonderful week. Talk to you soon.